Hey, how are you doing? Well, today I'm in Beijing's E Town and I'm at the 2025 World Robot Conference. If you've ever wondered when the future is going to arrive, it's already here. This year's event is absolutely huge. More than 1,500 exhibits from over 200 robotics companies all around the world. Over 100 products are being launched this year, so that's more than double that were launched at the previous World Robot Conference. I mean, there's so much going on. Let's go around, take a look, and try and take it all in. As you might expect, humanoid robots are generating a lot of buzz at this year's event. There are 50 full-body humanoid robot manufacturers exhibiting their products at this year's World Robot Conference. Look at these. Robots Build has been able to work non-stop. So we're talking robots that can work alongside humans on factory floors, possibly provide medical attention or rehabilitation to patients, maybe even do chores around the home. Chores that my wife assigns me, like clean up the cat's vomit. There's a huge push taking place in China to make intelligent humanoid robots part of everyday life. And they're actually leading the field because last year, China accounted for two thirds of all global robot related patent applications. Just by looking at the amount of humanoid robots around made by domestic companies, that's not surprising. Here, Beijing hosted the world's first humanoid robot half marathon. Here's some of the competitors, there's a champion in the middle. In fact, I filmed that half marathon, so if you want to go watch it, you can. But following on from that, Beijing is set to become the epicenter of embodied intelligent robots in the entire world because amidst the backdrop of this World Robot Conference, they are opening the world's first ever robot first in the 4S store. Services, sales, solutions, spare parts. It's a bit like going to a car dealership, but instead of cars, it's robots. You could literally buy this robot today if you wanted. This is the Walker S and it costs 1 million yuan, around about 140,000 US dollars. I don't, I don't think I'll be buying it. If you want to buy this, can you buy it? Yes. Oh, can you and as well as the opening of the world's first robot 4S store, a brand new robot restaurant has also opened and it is full of robots. Look at this. They're not playing right now, but there is a robot band here. I wonder if they can play the Star Wars song. We've got some humanoid robots here at the front bar, but they aren't the bartenders. The bartenders are robotic arms that serve a perfect drink for you. I'm not going to be drinking because it's only one o'clock in the afternoon. Might come back a bit later. There is a very big emphasis here in China on humanoid robots for entertainment because people love watching them compete. For example, behind me here is robot football. It's a fairly good penalty. Over there is a robot boxing match. Of course, let's not kid ourselves, the level to which they are fighting or playing football isn't the same standard as humans doing the same thing, but it's still very, very, very impressive. It's the first step towards them reaching that level. To be honest, they could still probably beat me in a fight. Not a huge number of applications for this one. It's mostly a waving robot. Hello. Interesting. And aside from full-bodied humanoid robots, there are loads of others here that we're starting to see more and more around China. For instance, these coffee-making robots are very common already in big cities, and we're not that far away from things like this being a regular sight all around the country. Of course, at present, they're not perfect. But some are close to being perfect, and this could soon be serving you in a restaurant in the very near future. The thing that's also weird about this kind of event is you will get robots just randomly walking around. 
that will probably become normal in the future. Presumably that will be the scene if robots ever take over. But they won't, they won't. So the idea behind this is that it can be remotely controlled whilst wearing a VR headset. You could literally do anything with it, couldn't you? You could cook with it, clean the home with it, do the dishes. I don't think people will be buying it for doing the dishes. I was joking, but they actually have got some robotic arm set up to do the dishes. So this guy in the headset is controlling this robot right here, stacking blocks. Basically a glimpse into the future of what these robots are going to be used to do. I mean, they're not going to be stacking blocks, but they're going to be doing things remotely, and the person doing it could be over the other side of the world. He's doing all right. Oh, he messed up. This is Notix, a very impressive robotics company here in China. However, this is quite disconcerting. These faces look very real. Kind of scary, kind of scary looking. Just a... Oh, I told him that. So something I've noticed about the humanoid robots, especially the ones used or intended to be used in manufacturing, is they're a lot slower than the robots you usually think of for manufacturing, which are very fast, very precise, they can put a car together in seconds, whereas the humanoid robots seem to be a lot slower, or at least they are during the demonstrations. In terms of simple menial labor like sorting things into boxes, these robots will basically replace humans in the future. A very interesting idea, a very interesting robot. It's obviously garnered a lot of attention. It's entirely plush, soft to touch, and it interacts when you touch it. It looks quite cute as well. Cute, unlike many of the other robots that look more futuristic. So someone there is just having a massage from a robot. Massaging robots, made famous by astronaut Howard Wolowitz. Can you see some? Take off your clothes. Yeah. Yeah, Almost had a big bang theory moment. This is the most the most people that have ever watched me have a massage before. It's quite nice, it's just not strong enough, not firm enough. Every exhibit here is quite popular, but this one is particularly popular with kids. There are loads of kids here because the robots are playing Beiti, Go, or Xiangqi, that's Chinese chess, or European chess. So you can buy a robot to hone your skills, but seriously, it's really popular with all the kids, kids and their grandparents. So these are some of, it might be the most noble robots that are here, basically robots that help elderly people or disabled people, or amazing, absolutely amazing. One less chore for me to do. Where is the cat vomit cleaning robot? Look at that. Incredibly realistic head, but the feet gave him away. Hello, Kong Zi. Oh, good. <laughs> no, I see a robot undone by its microphone. So one thing that you might not think about when talking about robots are these exoskeletons. They're becoming increasingly popular here in China, people are using them mountain climbing or people doing sports outside. They can reduce the load of weights when people work in factories and carrying heavy things and becoming more and more affordable. Oh, wait, so busy. So, since the beginning of this year, humanoid robots have been a constant hot topic on Chinese social media and foreign social media as well. Domestic manufacturers have reported a surge in orders for these kind of humanoid robots. One industry report forecasts that the humanoid robot market here will be worth 8.24 billion yuan this year. That accounts for half of the global 
market. That's insane. So what do you think of today's World Robot Conference? Have you seen any robots that you'd like to buy, possibly in the future? Will you buy a robot if they become affordable enough for you to have one around the home? And will you make it do your chores? Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you again soon. Beep, 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 beep. Bye-bye.